Well, it's March. So I wanna, every time I do an intro to one of these vlogs, you know, it's it just reminds me how fast the year is going. But with the third month in, hope you uh, hope you've been enjoying these year in the life vlogs um, so far. Anyone who's tuned in and seen the uh, the previous ones, I'll put February's there for you. If you want to check that out, I'm. Uh, very much learning as I'm going and um, yeah got a bit of a more chilled month in March well chilled for me no. in March we have a couple of things coming up we're gearing up for the next single uh, for those just joining now it'll be single number three as I'm building up to release a five track EP uh, we've done can't back down and we've done on my mind and uh, so we're two singles in really and we're going to do the third um, in April so this month is basically going to be pretty much all about starting the campaign for that and getting ready and uh, pushing it out and maybe doing the doing the absolute most that I possibly can to, to get it out there so far you know we're about four months five months since we started properly releasing um, me and my little team and my manager and everyone yeah we're two singles in each of them is now on about 24 25 thousand streams each so Spotify is growing nicely um, my YouTube you know even though I'm very early days still subscribers are growing nicely so please if you want to support hit the subscribe it goes a long way in me building my channel We'll be heading down to Pilton. Um, for those who don't know, it's right by the Glastonbury site, uh, where the Glastonbury site is when Glastonbury's on. As we are now down to the final seven of, I think, around 1,400, 1,500 internationally who uh, applied and auditioned for the Pilton stage um, at Glastonbury this year. So I went down in November with the boys, I think it was November, yeah. I went down in November played uh, with the lads uh, in front of a panel and then won my heat because um, we initially made it down to the last 30 and then it split into heats of I think it was six heats of, of five acts or something like that and we ended up winning winning our heat and now we're down to the last seven and we go down there this month and uh, find out whether we win the whole thing and if we do we'll be on at Glastonbury this year uh, which is which is mega and um, I'll be supporting Toby Sebastian as well at the Clooney which I'm really looking forward to Gonna show you getting some drums down. Um, I'll take you in the studio, and, and we shall. Uh, you can see the ins and outs and what goes on. I've got, I've got Nando's perineas on my cheek. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see that. You didn't see it. It's gonna have to stay there, I think.
drums are done and dusted, which is mint, and just getting some guitars and stuff down now. Oh. They're done. They're done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. He just looks like, from this angle, it just looks like he's sat there with nothing. Yeah, <laughs> just hanging out. There's no guitar, he's playing the air guitar. So yeah, it's lightly in the background. Do you know what I mean? We are um, getting a shoot today. Um, Say hi, Adam. <laughs> all right. Getting a shoot um, for some new music and stuff and uh, some new press shots and everything. So we're just wandering around my hometown of, uh, of Middlesbrough, trying to find some uh, some kind of rural looking locations. I'll maybe show you some, um, show you some of the outcome. Been uh, just warming into things so far, so good. Changing up to film. Nice. <laughs> what an unbelievable spot. To, um, on our way to Pilton. It's just Mr. Bean's holiday. For a big drive, uh, five and a half hours. We're about halfway there. And we got the um, rain tomorrow night at the, uh, for the Pilton stage. We're down to the last seven. Yeah. Down to the last seven. Down to the last seven out of, I don't know how many was it? Like 1400. 1400 internationally. We played our heat in November. Uh, won that and now we're down to the last seven for the Pilton stage final and if we win then we're guaranteed slot at uh, Glastonbury Festival um, there's no need for you to be that close Glastonbury Festival um, 2024 so yeah I'm just in the car now someone like to explain the rules of the game we're, we're about to play anyone? go on Rob what? what game are we playing? So me, Billy and Boone. Ah, oh, me and Tweed. Me, Billy and Boone, pick a tune. Me, Billy and Boone, pick a tune. <laughs> Look at the camera. And uh, I'm not. I don't like that. <laughs> and, uh, Finn's Lord Skip. <laughs> if Finn skips a tune, you lose a point. If Finn leaves a tune on, you gain one. You can't just pick tunes though. That ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like. You know what I mean? And you get two points if I've. Never heard the song before. This is how rock and roll we are. It's not about you know getting smashed and hard drugs. It's about playing Lord Skip on a five and a half hour journey. It's 2024 now. This is what we do, musicians. Oh, well, we have arrived in um, in Glastonbury. Checked into the Premier Inn. Say hello, boys. And come for a quick pint, something to eat. Have a bit of a relaxed, chill out. How are we all feeling? Good. Feeling good? Feeling ready? Tired. Tired, but good. Can you believe that I'm the one who drove us here? <laughs> Look at me. Fine. Um, but yeah, I will check in. Uh, I'll check in tomorrow for the big day. 
and um, probably show you the entire day from start to finish. And fingers crossed, we we come out with something. Four of them were it's a bit difficult because we're still independent. We have to battle it out everywhere we go for everything, don't we? So the last seven anyway, which is counts for something at least. Looking forward to playing for Mike Levis as well, and uh, and we'll see. So, so Billy sat on his phone uh, while he's been eating his food, and um, I'll show you guys it. Hang on. Nah, looks fine, mate. Uh, looks fine. Hello. Have a look. You're spot on that. Can you see what charger? What's your ass made of? Iron. Iron. Iron ass. <laughs> Unbelievable that. It was fine. So literally that was all done just now. Yeah. See if we do that. Wow, it's Whoa, made it worse. Oh, you made it worse. Oh no. Brilliant. Never Whoa. sit on your phone, folks. Never sit on your phone. Oh, we made that worse. Right. In a farm shop in um, Glastonbury. So it's a food. Put a bowl, why has he got hand salad? Hopefully you can hear me. And Rob said uh, this is the nicest orange juice he's ever had in his life. He had tears in his eyes. Thumb so, stone one. I need to do what you did though. Side down, bro. Oh my god. Good sabo. Here he goes. Do you want to just read the, read the people, the ingredients? So An organic Sicilian orange juice made from oranges grown on the fertile volcanic soils under Mount Etna. Drenched in glorious sunshine, simply picked, pressed and bottled. Can you see? We've never been so excited before about orange juice. Ready? It's got a nice crispness to it, hasn't it? It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's got a, a good crisp sort of finish to it. I had like flashes of the Mediterranean just flashing my eyes when I was sitting it. Yeah, it's good orange juice. <laughs> out of ten. I would say that's a solid nine out of ten. Okay. Been still going. Yeah, we're still going. We've got a Buddha ball here as well. Thought I'd get something on the healthy on the healthy side for tonight. Dude, where are we? That's the one. You've told these people all about it. <laughs> Well, we made it back and unfortunately we did not end up winning, um, which is a bit of a nightmare. But you know, it's um, this opportunity and, and, and what went down with, uh, with the Pilton stage competition is one of thousands and thousands of, um, uh, of little obstacles and, you know, rejections and stuff and and setbacks. It's not really a setback, but you know what I mean. Um, you know, you get your hopes up for, for, for things and then you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt um, in, the, in this industry. You're going into it with a lot of confidence, as I always do with everything I do. Um, and we had a really, really good time. Heading down there, we got to play in front of Michael Levis. Incredibly rare opportunity and I'm really grateful for we met some really cool acts as well. Um, some unbelievably talented acts. I doubt in my mind that, you know, with the trajectory that things are on and uh, we keep putting the graft in, keep putting the work in with the team I've got around me that, you know, we'll end up playing these kind of things anyway. But at the moment, you know, I'm completely without any live agent or anything like that. It's really difficult to, to play, you know, things within the next level without doing 
and these mad competitions and stuff and, and or a voting system or whatever like that but it's part of it um it's part of the journey it will definitely make me appreciate moving forward and going up a level when things do move on um because i'll remember what it was like to to not be in that situation and you know how up and down it is like a roller coaster i guess it's um but you can never be down about things like this you just got to I've got lots and lots of things going on. I didn't. I didn't really have time to be to be kind of dwelling on it or anything like that. We just. I've got that much, that many different things going on. It's it's important that I, I focus on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and and keep pushing and um, just trust the process, I guess. Um, but yeah, I could be one of those people who tries to make this vlog series completely perfect and nothing ever goes wrong and there's never any downs everything you know i've just lived the life of riley and everything's amazing but you we guys wouldn't relate with that do you know what i mean um i want to be real i, I want to show you guys you know the absolute behind the scenes of everything and yeah so thought i'd uh thought i'd, I'd let you know how, how we got on but um we have lots of other opportunities coming up, lots of unbelievable festivals. I think it's important to focus on on what's coming up. Um, still to come in March, uh, I'll be heading over to Budapest for a little last minute getaway with uh, with Pablo again. Who was I think he made an appearance in, in January's vlog, maybe February as well, but definitely January's when he came to France. Um, so I'm looking forward to that little little getaway. No doubt, not going there for music, but I'll still give you a little behind the scenes of my life. And because this is the year in the life, this is a year in the life of an independent artist. I'm just about gearing up to get everything sorted for the next release as well. We have a date. We have a date. I think we'll let me out by the time you see this vlog. Well, I'll just tell you anyway because it probably will be. But April the fifth is uh is when the next single's coming out. Um, gigs coming up is supporting Toby Sebastian. Really, really looking forward to that. Seems like a really lovely guy. Uh, looking forward to being at the Clooney, playing the Clooney again. And uh, yeah, oh yeah. Got a gig announcement coming up. Um, pretty big festival, local. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys the poster when I get it. Cheers. And we've arrived at the duty free the Leeds Bradford. Yeah. All right, do you like them? Yeah. You gonna get them? P probably. We're here at the apartment in Budapest. Some lovely little uh, things on the wall. So you come in here, look, and then a little ensuite with a shower. Towels are currently now it's Pablo's shirt and his t-shirt. He's just. Why have you taken everything off the minute you've got in? Just feel hot as fuck. Right. Here's the first room. Uh, we've got a little kitchen area down here. So we got some beers from the shop and before we'd even entered the place, Pablo dropped a full bag and smashed three out of six. So that was uh, probably the loudest and worst entrance I've ever had to anywhere ever. Well, debatable, but definitely uh, not one I'd like to do again. I think this is a way better room, to be honest. Got a little on suite right there. And another shower in this one. 
Um, so I reckon we got a rock paper scissors for the. Uh, oh, he's just admiring the view. Look. Hang on. Don't drop your phone. Damn. So nice. I've never. Uh, settling in. We both want that room though, so we're gonna have to rock paper scissors for it. I think. Rock paper scissors down. Yeah. yeah. On your hand again, because I, I know what you're like. You end up. What am I like? What you mean? You'll change it last minute. No, I won't. You will. Ready? Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. One to me. One to you. Yeah. Paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like the phone drop. No, 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 that was me. I won that one. Yeah. He, he didn't see, but he was paper. I was. Okay. Right, stop bang, bashing the table and doing it so aggressively. Rock paper scissors. Oh, okay. thank you. Okay. It's best of three. We've done about three. No, no, but I don't know oh, what okay. best of three oh, means. I'll, I'll beat you again. Best of three means like. Now, whoever gets to three oh, wins. Right, whoever gets to three first. But when it's two two, he gets to four. We've had about four That's rounds. That's how we play it. Four rounds. No, no, no. Right, it's two one to me at the moment. Yeah. So I need to win one more. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Two teams, three, two, two, four now. Win. This is the winning this is round. Two, four now. This is not. This is not right though, because he. No. How how was it right? Very right. right. winning, you right. idiot. Go on. Rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Three two. <laughs> One more. Whoever gets to four. If it gets three three, whoever gets to five wins. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Rock paper scissors. Three, three. three oh, so wait, we get to five wins. We have to get five yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Four, three to me. Four, four. four this six. is the winning one. Four, no, who? I oh, paper, scissors. Thank you. My room. Yeah. Boom. It's all over for tonight. Yeah. It's all over for tonight. Not the whole trip. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Make it things. It happens every day. Right. Every night. Right. Cheers. Thanks. See you in the morning. <laughs> Out for a wander uh, around. Budapest Central today. Go for some uh, some breakfast first. It's a really, really nice day. We have Pablo wanted to sit outside, so we sat at the world's smallest table. Um, that's really not meant for eating. I'm just drinking, but a little challenge. So got some uh, scrambled eggs. On sourdough. How is it? Min? Nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> Came to, uh... It's Pablo's birthday today. Hello. He's 30 years old. So I thought I'd treat him to a, a bath. A giant bath. Damn, that's a good looking bath. No, yeah, nice place. Found the bath. <sighs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really nice buildings here. This bath is great. I've never shared a bath before. It's more like a pool, really. <laughs> Found the chimney kick. I went for a chimney cone. <laughs> Snickers one. So, just gonna go right in there. I went for this. He's got one as well, he's already halfway through. Let's go, let's go for it. We made that's nice ice cream. We got a bit of ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, Nutella, and a chimney, a cone. Made out of chimney cake at the bottom. But when I get to it, I'll let you know what it's like. Right. 
we've gotten to the part where the chimney cone, chimney cake thing is. Still have no idea what it is, but it's just some kind of folded up cake, I think. I saw signs for it everywhere, so right, I'm going in. It's actually really nice. It's like a crispy cake. Zoom in on that. It looks like a waffle, but then it tastes like a cake. What is that? Is it a waffle? Is it a cake? <laughs> right, we're at the Clooney in Newcastle, and we're here tonight supporting Toby Sebastian. Um, pan round to the Clooney. Right, now pan back to me. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll see you later on. Dawson's, thank you very much to, to, to Ribby Dawson's for having us on this little roof terrace. It's very, very windy. Um, so hopefully you can hear me all right. Maybe we pick this location because we got the, it's kind of like a panoramic sort of aerial view of uh, where I'm from, where the boys are from. And uh, you get a bit of everything. So it's quite difficult to get sometimes. Uh, I don't know whether you can see down there, but we did get that there. But there's a giant pot of industry building there as well. All the industrial stuff here. Two um, for the stay right till the end official video. Uh, changed angle. Ready, boys. Good. Ready, go.
And just like that, March is done. Um, I'm gonna finish this vlog with a song. I usually make it be some kind of new writing, something that I've been writing during the month. It's a little bit different for this one because I thought I'd give you a sort of exclusive to the vlog snippet of, of the new single. Stay right till the end. Um, Yeah. 